Hello and welcome to episode uh, 26 of the Stardew Valley Let's Play Where we do things today again <laughs> We're gonna upgrade our watering can if we can If it's a rainy day we need to get birthday present for Willy And let's see what's, what's on the news Sunny tomorrow So we're not gonna probably be able to At least today upgrade it Our uh, pickaxe is at the moment being upgraded anyway so that's gonna take the upgrading slot for now. And back to the watering business. Well, it seems a. Uh, ah, those are um, indeed melons, as I've been uh, wondering for a bit now. But it seems my wild seeds have mostly grown now, so no need to water these. Also, some corn. This one needs to be moved. Same with actually this. And that. Uh, let's move these actually all. Just put them here. Do all that are these. Oh, wait. All of this is grown as well. Nice. This will uh, greatly help my watering plans. Also, we were gonna go check the secret forest today, so we'll have to do that. Have we also gifted Maru on only once, so we need to gift Maru again as well. So melons are doing fine. Let's uh, water all of this. And then uh, through the secret forest, go get some uh, uh, hardwood for us. I'm really considering uh, getting the horse now as well. But on the other hand, I, I do want to save the money for a rainy day and for the next season. <laughs> it's, it's so tempting. I really want the horse, but. I don't think I can afford the horse. Maybe I should uh, sell all of these uh, spice berries and whatever we have in the box for some money. Probably not a bad idea, actually. The melons still need a couple more days of growing. And you pour poor corn there, all alone. Also, I think a well on this side of the premise would be nice. Especially, actually, when we finally upgrade this farm, we don't actually need a <laughs> watering anymore because we're we'll be, we're gonna be a fully sprinkler everywhere. I'm not gonna do manual watering anymore in the next season onwards. It's gonna be only all automated to reduce my effort so we can focus on um, all that stuff like mining and uh, friending people and everything much more and working on getting uh, some of the bundles done. Cause this wastes uh, a lot of time uh, in game and in real life, doing this watering manually every damn day. Although I, I, I kind of like the results we've had uh, from all that wild seed growing. Although I know I, I could have been done so much more money in different ways as well. Hops there again, and those. Keep the flowers. Let's see. Um, keep the golden ones. So those and that. Hmm. Well, anything else? Yeah, let's sell those. Sure, we could just sell these to Pierre. 
Let me let me do this. I'm gonna grab the wood here. I'm gonna go to the secret forest and uh, get some more hardwood and sell these to Pierre. And I'll check how much money we have uh, at that point. And I'll consider uh, about the Horus. Also, we have the hoe now, which is awesome for this. So here, uh, this is where the secret forest is. There's one nasty log in the way. Also, if we're gonna be using Horus, these are gonna be in the way. So there's this, uh, this log here you can break. And behind it is the secret forest. And there's a mushroom for us. And uh, these uh, tree stumps and this other stuff here, like the ferns and uh, mushrooms and whatever grows here, uh, they respawn daily. At least the uh, wood, the mushrooms, and those uh, also respawn, but every now and then. Like the, all the foraging stuff. But this is uh, bas basically a permanent way of getting a hardwood now every day. And here's a statue which tells you Old Master Cannoli still searching for the sweetest taste. So we need to get the sweetest taste for Old Master Cannoli. This is also uh, the only place uh, in game uh, outside of the mines and desert uh, cave and your own slime farming, where there is uh, slimy, slimies or enemies in general. And I wish this uh, secret forest was a bit more, a uh, bit bigger and a bit more expanded. Would be really cool if it was. Kind of like mines, but bigger. I mean, uh, randomized, Sa same way as the mines. Ah, uh, let's just go through here. It's another. I forgot to bring Maru's gift, but it's only Tuesday, so we can find a gift her for her easily. There's Sam, hey Sam, 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 have this. It's good uh, to have a billion of these flowers, uh, so I can just uh, gift them around when I run around town. Here, yo, oh hey, look, there's tons of people here. That is actually pretty decent money. Nice fiddle head fern. I'm gonna sell some of these as well. And then... Flower for you. Flower for you. And flower for all the ladies. During Arabics. Tuesday is an Arabic night. Or day. <coughs> all the non-single non females in town. Except Pam, I guess. Uh, and uh, the granny are doing Arabics. So this is a very good day to come uh, gift people. It's early in the week and lots of people around. Another good day for the younger people is uh, Wednesday. A lot of them are uh, in the library during that day. I'm gonna go check the Horus. Almost 30k money now, and uh, the horse is only 10k, then the watering can is another 10k, still leaves me with 10k, plus there's uh, still crops growing, like the blueberries, should uh, do me uh, at least one more season, although it is uh, Arabic night, so, so that means Robin is not here. I don't know, did you, did you like the flower or not? I think she li I think he liked it. my flower. So no, no horrors today because it is it is Tuesday. Like <laughs> I just said, uh, you have this. Don't don't eat the food next to the hobo. And Abigail eats the flower as usual. Well then. I guess uh, we go home. Um, let's go to the spa, and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day 
chopping down some wood uh, in our home. Because I cannot go mining either because uh, well, the pickaxe is being upgraded and it's not ready today, it's ready tomorrow, I think. Plus, anyways, the blacksmith is closed already, so we cannot go there anyways, If I even if I wanted to today. Well, the horsey plan kind of failed. Also, the next house upgrade requires 50,000 money and 100... Uh, was it 150 hardwood or 100 hardwood? So we need to save a hardwood for that as well. Basically means we need to daily daily farm a hardwood if we want the house upgrade uh, as soon as possible and the horse as soon as possible. And if we want the hardwood fences as well. That's a lot of hardwood we need. I mean, it's only like 15 days of farming hardwood every day. Maybe not even that much. That actually would probably leave us with uh, some extra to be used uh, for offenses as well. Plus we might get some uh, while we ravage the mines, which we need to do as well. Before the fall, uh, I would love to go to at least a day or two mining to get more gold and iron. To get more sprinklers. also require some wood. I really like how the fences look and I would like to get some fences uh, build. We could also uh, focus on uh, making this uh, a bit prettier now that the stuff is out of the way. Why not actually? Uh, space it there? Yeah, let's put the mushrooms and the ferns there. These are required for uh, one of the bundles. Alright, uh, stone. It's in this box. And let's make a stone path. I love that sound. It's like uh, some uh, computer from some uh, old uh, DOS game or something, just going beep 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 boop boop. <laughs> so awesome. So we'll draw a path in there and we'll push it up here as well. It's really nice you can actually put it all the way to the edge in there. Many games. Uh, would have some kind of limitation how close you can put uh, things into there. Not this one, because this game is an awesome, awesome game. And then we go down here. I'll be moving all of these uh, in the middle here, so I don't want to do any planning there yet. And then let's chop my energy away. If only I had a, another silo for a, all of that. All of this hay here. Although there is a lot of grass growing down there, so if we get another silo, we could do it probably. I think I want uh, <clears throat> to get animals somewhere in fall season, at the before the start of the winter. So they have time uh, time to grow, and during winter time we can tend uh, on our animals when we don't really have that much uh, crops or anything growing at all. Let's split the farm uh, from here. <coughs> Get 
get rid of all of this. There's a couple of stones I cannot uh, deal with yet. Actually, quite many stones uh, down there. Well, we'll have to wait for the pickups to be next to be ready for tomorrow, and then uh, we can clear out those. One moment, I'm gonna go off a bit. Much, much better. Well, not, not much better, but a tiny bit better. I keep finding these uh, tree stumps here, hiding behind the other trees. Uh, so tomorrow was uh, not a rainy day. I think tomorrow might be blueberry day. Or maybe not yet. Should be sh soon. That should be another uh, 20k money for us. I have a layout in mind uh, for the farms and it's gonna require a bit more space going down here than uh, what's being shown up there at the moment in the current plan. It's gonna waste uh, space, it's not going to be super mega efficient uh, space usage, but on the other hand uh, the farm has a lot of extra space, you don't need uh, all this area here. Not at all. One more three. I don't want to waste uh, too much energy. Why not going to sleep early enough? No, I might be too late anyways. Oh well. Let's drop these in here. So I can keep those. And drop these. I can make a lot of snacks out of those. Hmm. Well, one. No, actually, I don't. I don't have the third uh, seed at all. Sleep. And there we have level eight foraging. That all, all that wood cutting, helping. Plus one of wildberry harvesting is really really nice. But nothing else, no money, no nothing. So Willy needs a birthday gift today. Uh, we'll give him some something, I don't know. Storm approaching tomorrow, that means watering can upgrade today. Fried calamari. This re recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend, Jody. Well, thanks, Jody. So, let's water everything today. Which isn't actually much. Since those have grown. Uh, go pick up my pickaxe today, and then uh, we'll upgrade uh, the pickaxe. Uh, sorry, not the pickaxe, the watering can to gold level today. Which is awesome. Let's uh, pop down these here to water, water those melons for me. If only they would uh, water uh, when you plop them down as well, or you have some kind of valve somewhere in your farm where you can twist it. Uh, to make the sprinklers sprout some water during day as well when you have uh, replanted uh, your layout. Okay, <laughs> there's one more. Not sure if I watered uh, these yesterday. Hopefully I did. Uh, 
Can sell some more of these as well for money. <coughs> properly if I had uh, the golden watering can this would be so much easier already I guess uh, I'll spend the rest of the day once I've done the watering uh, in the mines when I get my pickaxe I'll try to make a five level progress there I guess also let's uh, take a strawberry with me so we can give it to Maru See, Maru, Maru is not today working at the clinic. I don't know what the day is when she does work. I also need to go get uh, the hardwood. So I'm gonna drop these and the extra hardwood. Drop the tomatoes and those, the golden ones, and sell the rest. Ah, sell those as well. Then go here. We can go to the secret forest uh, later in the day as well. It's not really rush to go right now. I mean, uh, when we come back or something, I don't know. It doesn't ma matter if we don't go there every day. <coughs> Would be a good idea to do, do it every day though, but it's not required. So you, hello, thank you. There's my steel pickaxe, and let's upgrade my watering can to gold level. There we go. Actually, these should be like that. That's my usual order. Then let's take a trip to mines. And I'm gonna go check the horse situation. I didn't take my hardwood. I'm, I'm gonna check what the hardwood uh, and uh, what the requirements are for the horse. I didn't take Maru's gift either, so let's go pick up all, all of the, all of that. Also, it's uh, Willie's birthday. We need to do that as well. So many things to do today. So there's Maru. So, let's see. Farm buildings. Stables. It's five iron bars as well. Uh, well, no horse today then. I don't have the, I don't have the iron. So, no, no Maru's gift today either. Yes. Uh, let's just go get it. <laughs> let's waste some time running back and forth, that's always good. Maru's gift. Willy's gift. Secret forest. And mine, whatever we have left over time. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the that's the plan. I have no st uh, strawberries left, so it has to be a cold bar for a our cold loving girl. And I'll I'll give honey for that really. I hope he likes... he should like honey, I think. Oh yeah, these uh, break now. I should have spent a day just uh, destroying these. No. Uh, whenever we have some... extra time... Uh, the, the next... Uh, week or so, it's gonna be really, really busy days. Try to get m more sprinklers together and all the fall, fall preparations done, trying to get Horus. I don't know, the, the Horus might be a dream for a while. Actually, the biggest issue with the Horus is, is gonna be the, the iron bars, because I need those iron bars for uh, uh, sprinklers as well. And I don't really have any at the moment at all. Are you a different looking slime? He looks a bit different. 
Well, died uh, the same as any other. Also, going here uh, daily is gonna help me gain a foraging skill. My daily wood chopping. I think I will just uh, eat some stuff uh, for energy. I don't think we can waste uh, waste the time that it takes to go to spa because I wasted a lot of time just uh, being indecisive and running around like crazy man. Hey. Flower for you. I could give a flower to Willy as well, I guess. It doesn't really matter what I give, because I don't have the favorite items for him anyways. I think he liked the pumpkins a lot their next season. I hope Maro is still, still home. Willy is always such a waste of uh, in here. Hey, Leah. Let's do some random gifting while we are doing this as well, I guess. Oh, hey, dried starfish. That's a. Uh, actually, I have that already. Uh, we can sell it. So you, you better like honey. Yay! He loves it. If you give them a uh, their favorite item during a birthday, you gain like three hearts or something with them. It's huge, huge bonus. One of the best ways to, well, it is the best way to uh, gain a relationship. Give their favorite item during their birthdays. It's so so powerful. It's a lot of clutter in my inventory to go into the mines. I should really sell the fish stuff at least, the corals and everything for a willy. I think uh, instead of doing progress in the mines uh, today, I'm gonna just uh, focus on uh, doing iron bars. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Now I just need to run in there. We can take the fast travel from a uh, uh, clean shop to uh, to the mine, so I don't waste that much time. Hey, I see a parade of gifts of wool. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Flowers for everyone. Fast travel here, to the mines, then let's do like a... Let's try 70 for iron. That's not iron, but that's definitely coal. Also lots of, <laughs> lots of entrances it seems. also iron. Coal is very welcome as well. I, I should actually at some point uh, farm those uh, black chumpy balls uh, to get the monster sling quest on them done because the reward on that is a really really good ring. Let's try Actually, something else like 60. Let's, let's try 70. Was that 70? Yeah, that's actually much better. I almost feel like I should have gone for the. Not for the gemologist uh, to get double gems every now and then. Instead, get the extra ore. It's getting uh, iron ore and stuff. 
can be a bit of pain of pain in the ass sometimes. Let's try sixty. Let's move these into the bar here so I can see how much we've gained. Well, that's a uh, that's three bars already. That's a uh, basically three sprinklers for us. I think the we were uh, missing a uh, mostly those. Hey, mostly the iron bars for the sprinklers. Also, we can mine gold uh, as necessary. Going to kill all of those. I see. Always, I already have eight coal from this run for those. And we need we need coal for a uh, for the sprinklers as well. Because we need to smelt the bars. I feel like this uh, 75 is not very good level for those. 65 looked really good. Actually 65 looks really good level like for these guys. Oh free gold bar. Nice, thank you. Fourteen coal already. So if, if you're missing coal, this is how you get coal. Okay, yeah, this. Whoa. This is how you get coal. <laughs> That's a lot of those. I've never seen this many enemies in this level, or any level. Well, this will help with the monster uh, slaying quest as well. It's five hundred of these. But levels like this. Just give me all the time levels like this, and we'll have the 500 uh, killed uh, in a second. Oh, nice. That's what we need. That's not worth any money or anything. 24. Uh, I came for the iron ore and stayed for the way too much coal, it seems. In other playthroughs I've farmed these a lot as well, because uh, I made a lot of kegs, I made a lot of uh, uh, beehives as well, and both of those require uh, eight, 8 coal per each, and I made uh, hundreds of them, well over a hundred anyways, which means a lot of, lot of coal. There's more coal there, right? in the box as well. 34 coal in one quick mine session. That's that's good, I have to say. Not as much uh, iron ore as I was hoping, but at least we don't be we are not gonna be uh, missing any coal uh, for a bit. Also, getting some uh, quartz here, which will be useful for the sprinklers. The refined uh, quartz being one of the components. So I guess I'm, uh, I'm not getting the iron for it this, this time, but I'm getting everything else. Uh, well, not the gold as well, but... This will help, for sure. There's never enough coal. Plus when, I've, when I wanna farm those. Leave now. Let's check the next level quickly and go. And maybe next level since X is right there. What's a good, uh, I could do a trip to the mines, there's one more iron there I want. Uh, that's a lot of iron there I want as well. Luckily this new pickaxe breaks these really quickly. 
we're gonna have like no energy tomorrow, but we don't need to water tomorrow since it's a uh, storm, storm day. I just need to get at least close to my bed. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have this here. Just go to the bus stop. If I faint in my own farm, it's, it's gonna be okay. But if I just uh, beeline into the house, it's gonna be okay as well. I don't even need to be lying into my house, I can just uh, drop the stuff here. You go in there. You go in there. Yeah, two gold bars. So that's... Well, we can make three more sprinklers with those. Thought we had a more. So I need a. Uh, it's gonna be eight bars. So I need five bars of go gold next. I have those. That's eight. Eight sprinklers. If I get gold uh, tomorrow. Should uh, go and sell those at some point. Throw that in the box, go to sleep, run to the bed. <clears throat> Still had time to waste. <laughs> 40 for that, yeah. Almost worthless. Oh, three more days. Three more days of summer. Summer left. Awesome. But that's gonna be the episode again. So, thank you. Thank you again for watching this episode, if you liked uh, this Let's Play, check out the other Let's Plays on the YouTube channel, and also check out the live stream on uh, nair.tv here, or uh, twitch.tv slash Bellanar, where I do live streams every day playing games like this, and other builder management strategy games, few RPGs and platformers and other games here and there as well. But I'll see you guys next time on this thrilling Stardew Valley, end of the fall, uh, end of the summer, start of the fall.